Virginia NP Pra, I see you too. Adams Bandele, I see you too. Lawyer Tad, you're sorry. Ghana's number one lawyer, I see you. Hey, your Lordship, Yoni Kulendi, Judge of the Supreme High, Supreme Court of Ghana. Thank you so much. We do appreciate you and we love you. Many more people right here in the African history class. What else can I say? What else can I do? But to just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you and I love you. Hey, see who I see. Former President of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, is right here in the African history class. Gabi Asari Ochri Dakun. I see you. Thank you so much for joining us in the African history class. We love you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, see who I see and see what I see. Thank you so much. Ras Osage for Dua Bill. Tin Dan Doro. E Goma Doro. E Yin Zorbil. Thank you. I do appreciate you. Now, today's class is going to last only four minutes. And today we're talking about, oh, the Ashanti king, Nana Kwekudria the second or better still nana kwekudria kuma kuma means the younger one my brother my sister now we all remember the reign of osei bonsu osei mensa bonsu it was a very tumultuous one my brother my sister and he finally had to abdicate it was kwekudria the second who came on and for some reason he was supported by the british today my brother my sister we're talking about nana kwekudria the second now nana kwekudria the second was such a powerful man in fact now this man was so powerful and why was he powerful but he was the shortest reigning king of the ashanti his mother was nana yai chia and he took over from nana osei bonsu nana osei mensa bonsu my brother my sister and he lived the shortest now what happened, my brother, my sister? He was born somewhere in 1845, circa. And then he rose to the throne, my brother, my sister, in April 1884. That is the specific date of April 28, 1824. I beg your pardon, 1884, 1884. He became the king of the Ashanti. And when he became the king of Ashanti, he couldn't do anything because he was in there for only 40 days. Now, what happened to this great king? Now, there was a, a British captain who was coming over to Ashanti land. And he was coming in to talk to the king so that they would find a way of solving the tumultuous problems happening in Ashanti land, a.k.a. Ashanti mine. Nana Osei Mensa Bonsu still had his favorites who were fighting against Nana Kwekudia II. At the same time, there was also another man who was interested in rising to the throne. So the British had to come in. And who did they send over? A British captain. And this British captain, my brother, my sister, was Captain Keck. Captain Keck. Now it was in the governorship of Samuel, um, 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 the Governor Samuel Orr, my brother, my sister, he was the governor of uh, uh, the Gold Coast at that time. And uh, this man called Captain Brandon Kirby. Captain Brandon Kirby. In fact, his nickname was Kirk. All the soldiers called him Captain Kirk. But his real name was Captain Brandon uh, Kirby. He was a British Army officer. And he was sent over to the Asantehini um, Ose, uh, Nana Kwekudria II, a.k.a. Kwekudria Kuma. And he went over to him. Oh, my God, have mercy. Now, remember I told you that it was uh, in the days of the colonial administration and the governor of the Gold Coast was called Sir Samuel Rowe. Sir Samuel Rowe. Rowe is spelled R-O-W-E. My brother, my sister, Unfortunately, the king did not know that the captain had chicken pox. In those days, chicken pox was more terrible than it is now. Now we have vaccinations and so much modern medicine that has come to help. This captain came, Captain Brandon Kirby, a.k.a. Captain Keck. When he arrived, in fact... As you can see in the photograph, the next photograph, you see the captain sitting down. That's the captain sitting down there. You see how he was feeling uncomfortable. 
Those of you writing in African history class, you can see Nana Kwekudu the second sitting at the back there, and the captain was also sitting somewhere else, and he crossed his legs and folded his arms. He was feeling uncomfortable. He had, he had smallpox, and he gave the smallpox to the king. The moment he left, Kwekudia caught this smallpox. Oh, he caught the smallpox. And he died, my brother, my sister, after just 40 days of being a Santini. He died on the 11th day of June in 1884. And the whole of Asantimai was in trouble. Remember, there were two factions who were already fighting to take over the throne. It escalated. But his younger brother, Prempe I, became king after. Oh, my God, have mercy. Today, my brother, my sister, we are telling the sad story of Nanakwe Kudria II, who was the shortest reigning king of the Ashanti. He reigned for only 40 days. May his body, mind, and soul rest in perfect peace as we remember him today. Oh, Papa, Uninyamin Kowate. Papa, Miss Uninyamin Papa, Miss Minube Kowate. Papa, Miss Minube Oh, Nanakwe Kudria. Oh, Nanakwe Kudria Kuma. Miss Minube Kowate. Oh, he now on fair. Oh, Nana on fair, Miss Minube Kowate. Nana Famikobi. Oh, Nana on fair, Miss Minube Kowate. Yea, Nana Minube Go. Miss Minube Kowate. Nana Miss Minube Go. Nana Minube Kowate. Nana Miss Minube Go. Oh, Nana. In the burning of knowledge, I ask you. Now that you know what would you do, be an any or lay a mini or bafe, you soon the Kagane Mezaka yini, ye and Pabango Bokayan, Fifi and Yanukai na war, Banahu, a better than Lele and Jima singer Bekun, Lele and Jima singer Berry. Oh, my brother, Nanaka could be the second. He died just after 40 days of being the king of Ashanti. And when he died, there was so much pomp and pageantry. All the beautiful queens of Asante came together. And as they were beating the Adwa drums, oh, na na no, no. Na na won't fail. Oko. Oko, na na. Bye bye, yo, na na. Boko. Oko. Na na no, no. Oh, na na, we could be a kuma. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Jiwa, yo. Oh, hey, this 